Hey YouTube, I'm Windraiser coming to you with another Transformers review. Today I'm going to be looking at something a little bit older uh, Transformer wise because I just picked them up at a local comic shop with a bunch of other with a bunch of MicroMasters and another figure. Today I'm going to be looking at the Decepticon clone Pounce. I now have Wingspan and Pounce. I am so happy. And yes, this is the one from uh, Titans Return. This is the one that was in the uh, Ooh, the Velocitron box set, the Speed box set, one of the box sets that you could uh, get online. But yeah, I finally have Pounce, very happy, so I figured I'd review him. I do love how he is. He is a um, reuse of the Wingspan mold because they're clones. They share the same body. They just have different alt modes. Uh, Pounce here being a beautiful Puma or Jaguar, whatever you want to call it. But I do love that beast head. Very nice. Love the red eyes. I love the detail of the little whiskers and the fangs in the head. Got his little paws here. Well, the little ones in the back. There is some robot kibble, namely the feet and the arms. But that's just due to how they are. Uh, Posability for the front legs. They can do a full 360. There is a bend at the elbow there. Back legs, there is a joint here as well as a joint here so there's some some posability you can get nothing in the head except you lift it up you you'll see the robot head um, tail can move up and down and if you do have one of the tight masters they can sit right here on top um, side by side comparison here he is next to a core class energon Megatron here he is next with a uh, fellow Decepticon Needle Nose. And here he is with my latest review, Boulder Crash. So now to get tra him transformed, first we're going to do is take the tail, fold it all the way up. There's a little slit here that will fold onto that tab, like so. Take the cat head, fold it up, and just lift this up like that. Go ahead, straighten them up, bring, fold the legs back down, or bring the legs down, fold the cat legs in to bring up the heels, rotate them at the upper thigh swivel, fold up the front paws, go ahead and fold them back, fold the legs down, Take the head and rotate it around. And there we have Pounce in his robot mode. And he is just like uh, Wingspan. The arms are the same, minus the bird leg inside, because it still has the little peg holes that the bird legs will sit. Uh, for the legs, this piece is different. The rest is the same, because it still has that uh, hinge here for the wing gimmick. I think the only other difference you can tell them apart is a little insignia right there showing who they are. Um, as for the Decepticon insignia, I don't know why it's in the crotch. I would have put it right here underneath the animal symbol, but it is what it is. Uh, posability on him. Head can do a full 360. There is a ball joint at the shoulder for in and out, as well as a full 360 if you can get when you get the uh, animal out the way. There is a bicep swivel up here, so that, that piece does move, that square. There is a bend at the elbow over 90 degrees. Legs can go out that far, forward that far. Can't go back very far due to its tail. There is a thigh swivel. Bend at the knee, about 90 degrees. No foot articulation, because back then they were just molded into slants, so they had good poses, or good stances. Uh, here he is next to Blue Streak. My recent review, Boulder Crash. And my other recent review, Animated Prime. So yeah, very cool figure. I do like him. I am happy to have both of them now. Yeah. <laughs>
But I'm Windraiser. This is Pounce. We'll catch you on the next review.